Alright. Cool. <laughs> Magic. 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 Oh, oh, what's that? I think, uh, I think there's something behind your ear. Oh. <laughs> it's a penny. <laughs> That's right, today we're gonna be talking about magic. But this isn't just any magic, no, 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 no. This is the magic show. Today I'm gonna hit you with the most highly anticipated Snapchat show, YouTube video, sequel in all of history. What if I told you there was one Snapchat show out there, one show so powerful, it could lay all the others to ruin? One Snapchat show to, to ruin them all. So yeah, this video is going to cover uh, pretty much all you need to know about the absolute best Snapchat show on the entire platform. And it's about magic. Now, as you can see, this show only has two seasons, and it did start uh, in September of last year. But just like any magic trick from any number of renowned magicians, if you blink, you might just miss the best content of all. Now, I know what you're thinking. Damn, this dude's into magic. I thought he was cool. Let me just stop you right there. Roll the clip. Now this, this right here, is the magic I wanted to see. I love how she pours like half the bottle out and then she's like, nah, not quite enough, I gotta top that one off. Okay, at this point, if you're sitting there and you're thinking, oh, but I wanted to see some actual magic. First of all, you aren't welcome on this channel. You might just wanna stop watching now and try to pull that six foot rod out of your ass. But second of all, before you leave, keep in mind that this is episode 57 of season one. There are 75 episodes. There are two seasons. Now, if you go back far enough, you can see that this show did kind of start out as just dudes doing magic tricks. A straw here, we're gonna make it levitate. And not surprisingly, most of the tricks have something to do with some form of money and uh, impressing girls. Because not only are magicians unexplainably rich, they also pull mad hoes. Watch the five dollar bill. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna make your wildest dreams happen. Which one of us gets the habit? And as you scroll down through the first season, you can see that it stayed pretty consistent with that theme up until about the halfway point. And this is where they've quickly moved the focus from just simple magic tricks to uh, magic life hacks. You know, not, not too far off, but still not magic. And look, maybe my brain is just a little bit too small to comprehend it, but um, this? Does it really count as a life hack if it doesn't actually make sense? Am I just stupid or are they actually trying to get people to do this on their own time? Also, I love that whoever came up with this idea just uh, told this dude, all right, so we're just gonna run that trick, but this time don't talk at all, okay? We're gonna add some uh, After Effects in, some nice music, some descriptors, and uh, it's gonna be great, you're gonna do great. You're gonna do great. It's soft now. All right, so that one was Life Hacks with Sugar, but honestly, it wasn't super interesting, so um, let's just check out this one. It's called Hacks with Apples. That's impossible. Take a red delicious apple and wrap it up in tin foil. All right, I'm starting to see why they didn't let this guy talk the first time. And get some used coffee grounds. Wrap the foil apple in the coffee grounds. Push it hard. When you open it up, The apple is yellow. No way! That's impossible! Let's see the next one. Take an apple and run a knife all the way around it, cutting a one millimeter slit into the apple. Then, put the apple in the microwave for 35 seconds on hot. When you pull the apple out, you've got fresh applesauce. I don't believe it. How did he do that? Grocery stores put wax on apples. God damn, my ears are bleeding, I think. I feel like I shouldn't need to say this, but just in case, don't, don't, don't waste your time on this stuff, okay? It's not actual life hacks. Just eat your apples. I mean, it does keep the doctor away, as the saying goes. Um, I mean, not if you have hemorrhoids, but in most cases. So you're probably asking, how did this show turn into exclusively really shitty, really staged pranks? And there's literally only one possible answer to that question. Clickbait, baby. So throughout this show, we see a lot of different characters. And uh, you know, sometimes they're the ones doing the pranks, sometimes they're the ones getting pranked, and all the time, 
we have plenty of just all out cringe content. So this one isn't even that far into the show, but we see this recurring couple, and I guess the man is a magician and the woman is his unassuming wife. So he's trying to get her to play along with his trick, and right off the bat, there's some major tension in this room. Perfect. So now this goes in here, and what you're going to do is smash your hand down on the broken bottle, and it will disappear, yeah. okay? Yeah. So, look. I know, I saw Bottle you, right I there. Saw you put it in there. I know. Yeah, I saw you do it, Jerry. Just like that one time I saw you talking to that whore in Vegas, and the next morning I find her in our bed. You're not gonna get me this time, Jerry. This. No, 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 don't do, right don't do I'm it. I'm not gonna don't do it right do now, it. okay? It'll be on the count of three. Don't you do it. No, 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 baby, listen. I'm not gonna stab you right now. I'm just gonna stab you in three seconds. Ready? One, two, three. Don't smash my hand. Okay, listen, me. listen. It's a magic thing. Put your hand right here. I like how this guy has to clarify that it's a magic thing. Like, did she not know what she was getting herself into when she married a magician? <laughs> Come on, you have to love magic. Everyone loves magic. Come on, it'll be fine. Just do it. Come on, come on, just do it. Just do it. Four. I can feel it. It's not going anywhere. I can feel I know. it. I can feel it. That's the amazing thing about the trick, okay? Hand over top. He's getting so exasperated because she does not trust him at all. I just, I love it. At the last minute, everything disappears. You've got, okay? You've seen me do it with like a bottle of Coca-Cola or something like that. You trust me yeah, enough I that know. you married me, okay? So we're doing just fine. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you destroy marriage. <laughs> God, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well, long story short, they do the trick, it works just fine. Maybe a sliver of trust is reinstated in that poor woman, but only time will tell. But still, there's so much more cringe to be had besides this one failing marriage. So now we're back at episode 58. And at this point, whoever organizes this show has gotten an entire posse going. So we got the prankers, AKA the people who prank, consisting of about three to five very mischievous men and women. And then we got the people being pranked. And I gotta say, they really sell this shit, especially this chick. <laughs> Like, never in my life have I seen someone with such an uncanny ability to not see or hear or feel pretty much anything. Check out the next episode in this series. <laughs> this guy shushes the cameraman while he proceeds to pour, like, gallons of liquid nitrogen on all sides of this girl. And then this is probably the best reaction to a prank I could ever imagine. Fire? That ain't smoke, baby girl. Might want to consider getting your GED again. I don't, I don't know how old you are, but um, definitely not in high school. Oh! What's going on? Oh my god, no! Ah! No, 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 I think what I might love most about the transformation of this show is that somewhere along the way, they decided that they really don't care at all how fake this shit looks. Check out this episode where this guy, Mr. Failing Marriage, as we've previously seen, has an entire prank arsenal camped out behind this park bench and still manages to screw it up. Two, um, I and they totally just jump cut all the super loud parts, like when he's uh, pulling out duct tape. Yeah, sorry guys, uh, we might just wanna, might just wanna cut this part. Oh uh, yeah, we'll get it in post, don't worry about it. Or when he pours candy. And this part they don't even try to hide. <laughs> this freeze frame. Oh, I really messed that one up. Should we retake? No? Okay. Now this. This is the face of a man who's about to go into a midlife crisis. I'm really staging shitty pranks on a Snapchat show as a middle-aged man. What am I doing with my life? So, after taking all of this in, uh, this, uh, this magic show, which quickly degraded into uh, magic life hacks, which even more quickly degraded into magic pranks, you probably have a lot of questions. As do I. Number one, are any of these guys even real magicians to begin with? Number two, why do the actors plug their Instagrams and their social media and stuff in the top corner of the screen? Like, if this was me, I wouldn't want anyone knowing who I was. And number three, who okayed a second season of this? Like, for real, who, who did it? I want them brought to me in chains. See if they can break out of that one. But I gotta be honest, with all the shit happening right now, I am living for a second season of The Magic Show. Now, to me, these are just fake pranks stripped down to their very core. There's no flashiness, there's no deception, there's no Joey Salads anywhere to be seen. 
Why? If she, if she wants to have sex with me, I don't want to have sex. You should want to. And if I'm being honest, I kind of like that. They're just not hiding anything. Kind of ironic considering it's a magic show, but anyway. Although if I was any one of these guys, I would not want to be seen on the street. And there's just so much amazing content from this show that I can't fit into this video. So I'm just gonna leave you with a few extras from our favorite cringy magic couples. Enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Mm. What is that, an onion? What is that? Did you fry one of my thongs? <laughs> No, it's, this is very, very safe. Coffee All of microwave safe. When would you ever put a coffee pot in a microwave? Well, it's just glass and plastic. Yeah, well, it's okay if it pops the lid off because the lid's not attached or anything like that. Well, Here it comes. A microwave full of popcorn. What are you talking about? That is the a good popcorn. problem to have. Okay, these are first world problems. You chill out. We just made Look, coffee in a coffee pot. No, we made popcorn in a coffee pot. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. What, what, what did you think I said? Okay, all right. Now get that. Well, you put in too many. Oh, that looks good. I need salt. I love you. Hey, listen, uh, if you like this video and you don't want me to go broke, uh, you should probably subscribe. Uh, maybe like the video, maybe comment, maybe uh, turn notifications on, you know, just, just the classic. And then maybe donate to my cash app because honestly, I don't want to use my phone as a recorder anymore. So there you go.